Hello everyone and welcome to the Relationship Report, where we discuss all things relationships. In today's video, we will be addressing a common issue in relationships, false allegations. A 40-year-old lawyer called in the Kevin Samuels show seeking advice on her dating prospect. She opened up about her past marriage but she was quick to portray herself as the victim, neglecting the fact that she was verbally and emotionally abusive towards her ex-husband. Let's watch how Kevin taught her the importance of being honest about past relationships and the consequences of false allegations. How old are you? I'm 40. 40. 40? 40, 40? Yeah. Cool. Uh, are you single or are you married? I'm single. Any kids? I have one. A daughter. A daughter? All right. Um, are you looking for a new job? No, I have a job. I, I kind of relate to what you're saying because, you know, I am stressed out and mm -hmm. I am alone. <laughs> what, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm in law. Uh oh. Yeah, was you, the first. Are, thing are you? Did you go to? Are you? Did you go to law school? Yeah. Yeah. So, you 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 named my profession first and what men avoid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did that for a reason. Because <laughs> that's the top profession men, high value men avoid. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. I don't think that that is necessarily the case. I've, you know, I mean, I understand. Well, how many you... how many high value men have you ever had? I mean, I, I, I'm i sorry. I didn't just pull this out of my ass. I've been doing this for no, years. No, I know. I, no, I, I believe you. Gentlemen, ladies, the top two professions that men want to avoid with a passion law psychology or psychiatry two what no man wants to sit around and be analyzed and no man wants to deal with a woman to where they end up breaking up with them and she knows how to use the law right so you you ladies can think whatever you want i'm telling you what it is so let's get back to and by the way you never said how old is your daughter she's 11. Um, well, were you and her father uh, together a long time? We were together before we got married. Um, it's interesting because we were together. And you then were we together got... before you got married? No, well, I'm saying we had a relationship for like five years. Five years? And then we got married. And then I got pregnant, like right after we got married. And then um, the relationship broke down. The the having a child like didn't okay hold on, hold on hold on you were together five years you got married you got pregnant and then who ended the relationship i would like to say he did because who filed for divorce he behaved i did okay then you ended the relationship yeah all right the relationship didn't break down you divorced your husband it broke down he you divorced your you, di you divorced your husband yes you can say whatever it is. I'm just looking at the facts. You filed for divorce. You divorced your husband. Correct. So I, I categorize women like you for whatever fact, for whatever reason, as home wreckers. You had a home that you wrecked it. You were married. You got pregnant, had a kid, then wrecked your home. No, because he put his hands on me. So he wrecked our home. Okay. He put his hands. Okay. Now I'm going to say something. And and you were just a shrinking violet in this situation. No, I'm never. I'm not a shrinking violet. Okay, all right. So so when you say he put his hands on you, you were sitting on the couch or at the dinner table or whatever. He just came in the door and started whooping your ass. No. Was this in the middle of an argument? It was. Yes. Uh huh. And do you you known that man for how many years? Um, I knew him for about six at that point. Uh huh. And he he been violent before. He had been like subtly violent when I was Had pregnant. he been violent before? Yes. yes. No. Meaning had he put his hands on you? Yes. Before you got married? Yes. Oh, before we got married? No. No. Okay. No. See, one of my one of, see a lot of stuff that I, I don't like weaponized victimhood. And oftentimes when women come in here, you talk about abuse and violence and stuff like this. But were you verbally violent or emotionally abusive with your husband? I respect that because I, I was. Were you? That's a yes or no. Before oh, I didn't realize you said were you. I thought you said when you. 
I, I assumed I, you were, but I'm asking. Yeah, I, I, I was. So I let was. me ask you. Seeing so, though know, you said you the marriage broke down because he put his hands on you. You put your mouth on him. Did. Yeah. What does that rank? Is it worse for a man to put his hands on a woman or for a woman to put her tongue on him? I'm asking you seriously. I mean, honestly, it's bad either way. That was I said which is worse. Years ago. I said which is so, worse. Which is worse. Yes. In different circumstances, no, it's not. Which is bad. worse? Which is worse? Physical or psychological? Ma'am. Ma'am. No. Ma'am. I don't know. Really? 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 Probably psychological. I don't Thank know. You. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. There are things that you can remember somebody said to you when you were a child, where well, you can't remember the pain. See, this is why I say that I don't just believe all women because I don't know men who just start whooping women's butts for no reason. You guys go into situations where you get back with a man and you just don't know when to stop. You want to keep provoking and provoking and talking and this and that. And all of a sudden, that hurt tell. How many times is it you think you've told this story where you said he ended it because he put his hands on you and people just, just listen to that? No. Well, why didn't you say the marriage broke down because I was verbally violent and emotionally abusive? Why didn't you say that? Because you were saying that I was a homewrecker. I probably wouldn't have mentioned it if you didn't cast me in a negative light. You cast him in a negative light. You said the marriage broke down. It didn't break down. You filed for divorce. You filed for divorce. And then you said, well, I did that because he put his hands on me. And I said, okay, that means you had no part to play in this. I'm asking you, why instead of saying he put his hands on you, why didn't you come in and say the marriage broke down because I was verbally violent and emotionally abusive? Both things happened. True or false, counselor? True. Then why didn't you come in and saying what you did first, counselor? Because I feel as though considering all the facts involved, I don't feel as though... I deserve to be treated the way I was treated. My child was like months old. Your child or, or, or your child or Our his child. child right, right. Months old. So if you were so it so you were verbally violent and emotionally abusive. You he deserved to be treated that way. No, no, neither of us. Right, right. But see, in this country and the way we do stuff is women can always do what you just did weaponize victimhood and make it to where the man hit me and that's supposed to override everything else well we know that's not even the case how tall are you five eight dress size i'm sorry dress size eight ten how tall was your ex-husband sorry how tall was your ex-husband he was six foot mm -hmm. how much did he weigh like 200, maybe 195. And how much do you weigh? I'm like 158. 5'8", dress size 8? Mm -hmm. 8'10". I mean, I just wore a dress today to work. That was 8. Okay. All right. About in, the, about in the range, 150, 160. So he's 190, you're 160? He was a lean guy. You know, he wasn't a big, big guy. Don't right. He was some big right. truck. He wasn't. Right. My point is, ma'am, you came in here trying to craft a narrative where the onus was outside of you. No. Ma'am. You kind of shifted this, to my marriage. I kind of wanted to talk about well, my no, career but, well, and finding a man. Well, what is a man going to find is the question. What do you mean? Any man who's listening to what just happened knows exactly what I mean. So explain it to, to the women that don't understand. The women who sit around and blame men for what they do. We deflect, obfuscate mm -hmm. to the point to where I have to sit down and treat you like a hostile witness to get you to admit you have been verbally violent and emotionally abusive to the man that you said put, put his hands on you. You were complicit in the destruction of your own marriage, i.e. you wrecked your own home. Okay. 
That's why I call you home records because you guys won't even admit it. You were with this man for years ahead of time and he hadn't been violent. I mean, I, I can't admit it, but I'm I'm saying I feel as though you're trying to demonize me when you don't You know demonized him, ma'am. I'm defending men. You said your marriage Good. ended. You no, don't Kevin me. You you demonized that man when you Kevin. You demonized that man when you came in and said your marriage broke down because he put his hands on you. Now, my point is, ma'am, why ever it ended, it ended. And all pe all men were looking for in the future is nobody's perfect. We're all yes. broken. We all have things. But if you but men are men are tired of hearing that they're always the problem. And I didn't mean to come off that way. He and I are friends now. We have had breakthroughs where you know, it's been 10 years and, and I've, we've both said to each other, like, I'm flawed, you're flawed. Good. So I, I really don't you know why any, okay. we're focused well, on this. Well, we're focused on it, ma'am, because you brought it up. If okay. you had, you, if you had said my marriage ended, it didn't break down. If you had said my marriage ended because we were both broken and flawed, we both did bad things to one another. We wouldn't have been here. Okay. You go back and rewind it. I don't believe I've been any... I think I've been very reasonable. I'm dealing with what you said. You said it broke down because he put his hands on you. And I question what you did, if anything. And you admitted you were verbally violent and emotionally abusive. Yeah. That's why we had to go down this rabbit hole, because if this is what you're still saying here, that means likely you'd be taking that out into the dating environment. No, I well, I mean, maybe so. But I've learned a lot on that front which is why it's hurtful to go down that road but well ma'am we didn't have to go down that I road until you, you did, okay you, know? you didn't have to go down that road until you say it ended because he put his hands on you yeah right see i defend i i i will i'm fair i call it down the middle but unlike most places i don't just go off believe all women i believe the facts and the evidence the data the statistics and i am tired of seeing men being we can have our entire lives wrecked because of a false or allegation or a story or a narrative. I, and I didn't wreck his life. I, I, I didn't say that. I said, we men. I said, I said, I never, we men. I said, I'm we charges. men. I'm not that kind of person. I don't believe in like damaging people's lives. I, Ask me a question and I'm sorry that I answered it incorrectly. You're right. You answer correct correctly, ma'am. Correctly, incorrectly. No, I, meaning you're right. I, I was verbally abusive to him. I was. You, you, but see, the thing is, man, you, incorrectly. The men you'd be looking to deal with think a lot like I do. I don't have a million subscribers because you are an anomaly. Men are tired. You have. If you live in this country, you can witness a, a man's entire life be torn apart by an allegation. I know that. So you ladies have to, be, and what happens to women who make these allegations? Oftentimes nothing. They can just say, I'm sorry. I know that as well. So as a lawyer, so as an attorney, you have a higher burden, in my opinion, than other people because you know the law and you I know agree. the consequences. So when you come in and say something like you just said, and then say, well, I miss, uh, I apologize, or I misspoke, or I didn't say it. I'm like, well, that's a bit much. Go back and watch the segment, man. Just go back and watch the segment and watch what people said. Go back and watch the segment, watch what men and women are saying in the chat room, because I can't see it. But have I'm, you had? I'm, I'm but in conclusion, it's important to be transparent and honest about past relationships. False allegations can ruin someone's life, and it's not worth risking someone's reputation just to paint yourself as the victim. Seek counseling if necessary and take responsibility for your actions. Remember, communication is key in any relationship, and it starts with being truthful. Thanks for watching the relationship report. Remember to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.